I'm Melody with Flawless Fitness and I'm here to talk about exercising with a heel spur. If you have a heel spur, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Basically what that means is this sheet of tissue underneath your foot has gotten super, super tight. It starts at something called plantar fasciitis, which means that all those tissues are getting super tight underneath your, your, uh, your foot. And the tighter they get, you start to build this bone in the back of your foot and you get a little hook there. And that's why they call it a spur. It kind of looks like you're going to ride away on a horse or something. So what we have to do is we have to treat the problem first. So I like to use a tennis ball or this is actually a dryer ball. This is what I had today. But what you're going to do is you're going to put your foot on it and you're going to put pressure on it and just try to work that fascia out. Oh, that feels really good. But you're going to work that fascia out first. You can also do this and it feels really good for a lot of people is take a water bottle and freeze it and then do the same thing. So then you get the ice effect too, which just feels really nice. But basically you're trying to loosen the fascia. If you feel a spot that's super painful, I know it doesn't feel good, but it's a good thing. You need to wait for that spot to dissipate with the tennis ball or whatever ball you're using under it. And then once that pain is dissipated a little bit, you move to the next spot, okay? Now, we're talking about exercising while you have a heel spur. Anything that you do that gets you off your feet is a fantastic exercise for working out with heel spurs. So you can do pull-ups, pull-ups are fantastic. You can do push-ups, you can do any upper body work you want to do. As long as it doesn't hurt, it should be fine to do. So I'm just going to teach you how to do a proper push-up because I love push-ups. They're a fantastic exercise. So when you do a push-up, you want to think about trying to push a refrigerator across the floor. Your elbows go here. You don't want to be up here and a lot of people love to do their push-ups from here. This is a bad place to do them from. You bring your elbows down. This is much easier on your shoulders, and this is how your chest muscles are designed to work. So you're keeping your body nice and straight. You're not going to look down. You're not going to look up. You're going to keep everything nice and straight and tall, and you're going to keep that refrigerator pushing position and make sure your body stays in a straight line, right? So your body isn't moving down and up while you're pushing. Your elbows are lowering your body, right? So this is that movement. And you can do it from your knees too. From your knees is the easier way. They call them girl push-ups. I just call them the easier way to do them. You put your knees down. I'm going to do the exact same push-up just with my knees down and my feet up. So whatever feels better to you, but generally work that fascia out and do whatever doesn't hurt. I'm Melody and this is how to exercise with a heel spur.